Decorating Eggs for Easter. Decorating Eggs by Dana and illustrated by Caitlin. Every page will give us a way of how we decorate eggs in different styles. Signs of Spring. Fluffy little chicks are a common symbol of springtime. Springtime is filled with many things. New leaves grow on the trees. New flowers sprout from the ground. Birds lay eggs with new chicks inside. Eggs have become a symbol of spring, and decorating eggs have become a spring holiday tradition. The signs of spring can be inspiring. Go outside and notice the colors and details of the season. Then bring your ideas inside. The hard white surface of the egg makes it a perfect blank space for your design. You can decorate an egg with a rainbow of colors. You can paint an image of the egg surface. You can draw abstract design. You can turn a plain white egg into a creative masterpiece. Gifts of good wishes. So from many ancient cultures, eggs symbolizes new life. Once the religion of Christianity spread, eggs became an Easter tradition. Christians did not eat eggs during Lent, the time leading up to Easter. People ate eggs when the Lent was over to celebrate the holiday. Eggs are especially important to people of the Ukraine. Ukrainians have a long folk art tradition called Pisenki. Pisenki eggs are decorated with symbols such as birds, stars, and flowers. People draw on the eggs with wax, then dip them in dye. The dye does not color the wax part. Then they warm the wax, wipe it off, and repeat the process to add more areas to color. People take lots of care and time to make a, a, a psychic sunky eggs. They give them gifts, they give them as a gifts to share good wishes. They also believe the eggs protected them from harm and evil. In the late 1800s, Peter Carl Farragut bought decorated eggs to the royal level. He worked as a jeweler for the Russian Caesars. He created eggs for them each Easter. But these eggs were not bird's eggs. They were made of gold and gems. His eggs open to reveal jeweled surprises inside. So here are some basic tools that you can get for creating an, an Easter egg. So the first thing you need to, to know to decorate an egg is an egg, of course. Eggs are not sold by dozen in grocery stores and convenience stores. Uh, you could also get them in boxes, you could also get them um, in like containers. It depends what store you got, but mostly it's sold by dozens. You can also buy fresh eggs from the farms, farmer's market, and here are the tools. You could read them about. So here's the preparing eggs, coloring eggs, and decorating them. So could read you could pause this video and like um, take a look boiling and blowing so here are the steps in how to boil the egg and to blow out an egg so there are um like steps one two three four five and six you could read them and then um you could just follow the steps. You could pause this video. So here's a tool for you to use in um, blowing out the egg from the shells. Again, you could dye deep and dry. So here are the steps of dyeing it, dipping it, and drying it. So. Don't forget, you need vinegar. Here are the instructions that you could follow. Mm -hmm. 
Also, we could design on the details. So, colored eggs look great with designs. So, with this one, it's a different um, design that you could make. Uh, versus techniques, crayons, rubber bands, stickers, and tapes, and marbleizing it. You could always stop this video to get some details if you want to do it this way. Pickled eggs. So here's another one. You need the materials you need for this one is a uh, blue food dye, vinegar, hot water cup, spoon, one high boiled egg. Um, you could go back to previous page to see the sizes: empty egg carton, plastic gloves, paper plate, old toothbrush, dip bowl. So here are the steps. All right, this is a simple one and you could also display your eggs cut across your bag into lots of thin strips like this one right you could you could always have different ways of doing it so I'm showing you some techniques one of this we're gonna make tomorrow so we'll see I'll make a video of that too here's another one zebra stripe eggs so the material you might need Electrical tape. I think you will also need, if you don't electrical tape, like the masking tape, the 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 colored one, they're always like that. Uh, one hard boiled egg, brand food coloring, vinegar, hot water cup, spoon, paper towel, empty curtain, paper towel, chew, uh, green construction paper, clear tape. So, and the steps are here from 1 to 10. You could always stop this video to copy it, take a screenshot. Another one, this is, this is the, for sure, this is what Nico is gonna like. So, you can create a lot of colors from only a few, right? So, here's the combination red and blue could be purple. Blue and yellow could be green, yellow and red could be orange. So materials that you need, pencil, hardball, red, blue, and yellow food dye, vinegar, hot water, three cups, three spoons, water dipping, paper towel, egg, empty cartoon. So there are some steps over here and there are like illustration how it's done. And um, good luck. I think this is fun, right? It's, it might be messy, but it could be fun. So you could always stop again to take a screenshot of the steps or you could just always pause on this page another one is stained glass eggs design so I really like this one it becomes like a collage so uh, my students really like this one um, to create them and I like it too it's more fun so the materials you would have is wooden score sturdy bottle or 12 cup this is colored tissue paper, water-based uh, varnish, paper plate, paintbrush, one blown-on egg, and you could always go back to the paint where we blow the egg, tweezers, black permanent marker for it to write on. And the steps are here. Use plenty of varnish to make sure that the paper will stay. Or if you don't have varnish, I think you could just have like wet glue, like you glue it inside. I used blue before. So make sure the varnish is dry before the color with marker before you like stain it out. All right, you always have at least this is just a um, a little idea on how you could, but you could always merge all of them together. You could always take a screenshot. Jeweled eggs. This is also a nice one. It's more of glitters. So material that we could use here is glitters. You could always have different colored glitters. It's not just a purple one that's here. You could always get the glitters that you like. So two paper plate, white glue, or, or clear glue. Uh, it should be liquid glue. And one blown egg, blown out egg. I mean, wooden score, sturdy bottle to um, or tall cup gold brick rack, um, empty spool, or anything, it's not just empty spool, you could always have something that you could stand up, 
right? Make use of what the materials you have at home. And the steps are here, up to seven. And I could always take a screenshot if you want to do uh, this way of decorating your egg. This one could be fun. It could be hard, but uh, not all of us are artists. But if you really want to like make a family three ornament egg, it is also cool. So materials will be wooden skewer, sturdy bottle, and tall cup. Enough blown out egg, it depends how many members are in the family. Pencil, paper plate, acrylic paint if you have them, paint brushes, pine pit, tip block permanent marker, a vase, a plural vase, or you could always use your um what do you call it? Plant a uh, planter, whatever you have, right? Um embroidered floss, white glue. And the steps are here. You could always like follow the steps. Right? So it says be sure to get your details just right. So that's the thing, oh, not all of us are very good artists. So that's why me at like collage, like I just put things together and make it colorful to make it beautiful. Alright, take a screenshot. This page is still a continuation of Display Your Family. Um Family 3 up to um, 13. And here's another one. Excellent ideas. Right? Hard boiled eggs are tasty trees. We always have this in the morning. So decorate the egg, could design them, and then eat them at the end. There we go. I hope you enjoyed um this decorating egg idea that we have. And um tomorrow I'm gonna take a video on which one we pick um to decorate here in the house. But um I hope you enjoy guys and celebrating Easter by having fun in your family even though it's quarantine time. So happy decorating eggs and happy Easter everyone. God bless. Bye for now. I'll read to you books um, every weekend since um, school start again this Monday. Bye for now. Have a good day and happy Easter.